Hey there guys, it's Lightflux Kenya here with Amaze Zero. So from what I know, this is just ooh. Sigma triangular or rectangular. Let's go with Sigma mazes. Okay, what am I? My WASDA to move? No, my direct I'm directional keys to move. Okay. So this is literally just a maze game. The whole point is like anything else in a maze, you get to the center of the maze as quickly as possible. Or I guess the glowing red dot, I shouldn't say the center. Um, I personally adore mazes. On paper, I play mazes all the time. Like all the, all the, all the, all the, all the, all the time. Ooh, wrong way. Um, like they're one of my favorite time sinks. I get those books of like these stupid hard mazes that they say are like, Ooh, these are the 500 impossible mazes. And I just do those because they're fun. I love, I love challenges like that. And for some reason, my mind works rather well with the concept of a maze and how it works. Um, so I actually quite enjoy... Let's see, I always take a pause to figure out where the hell I'm going. Um, I, I quite enjoy games like this that are just kind of time sinks. Now, there's really nothing here. There's not a lot of commentary to be made over what this game is. It just simply is what it is. I really like the honeycomb structure, for sure. I like how this game is set up. I like... I don't know if these are randomly generated or if these were all created by hand, um, but it, it's just a fun maze game, and that's not something that I can say very often because there aren't many of those, right? Like these are, these are um, few and far between, and it's because of their uniqueness that they are that way, right? It's that you don't really have much else to say. So to make a, a maze game that has, you know, it has a nice soundtrack, like you're sitting here, you're grooving out. You want to kill some time? I really like it. So, I'm going to keep doing this for a bit. I'll show you guys the other play, or other levels too. Oh, that's the wrong fucking way. Hey, where do I need to go? I need to go down. How do I get down? I go down this way. Okay. Oh, nope. This is a dead end too. Shit. Of course, as soon as I say I'm about to cut away, I get stuck. Alright, this is the right way. Okay, there we go. So, I'll be right back. Um, I want to show you guys the other sets of levels they have, the triangular ones and the, why is that pixel first on my screen, that's weird, um, and such, and then we'll go from there, alright, so, I'll be back in a bit, ooh, I will, sorry. So, part of what actually I realized that a lot of people don't understand about mazes, um, or that they don't find them enjoyable, is that they don't always think that they're easy, and I submit to you, every maze ever is easy because of one thing and one thing only, and that's what I call the path theory. And that there's always a right path, it's just a matter of you having to find it. Um, if you played like the Metroidvania style of game, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's always a way for you to go, you just might not know where it is or be able to see it off the top of your head. And that can be frustrating, I fully admit, that can be very, very frustrating. But, given enough resources and enough time and the wherewithal to actually sit through and bash your head against the wall, as it were, um, you'll always find the right path. So that's why I posit that no maze is hard. Doing some mazes in a certain time span can be hard, um, strictly for no other reason than there's a time limit. But the maze itself, is not hard. Alright, so, again, I'll be right back. There's a bunch of these levels. Triangular. Ooh, these are cool. Now, obviously, these mazes are designed to get harder and harder as you go. Um, the, and so I've restarted a new level, but I just started with the triangular level, so these are obviously going to be the easy versions of the triangle. Ooh, hello. I went the wrong way. Alright, how do I get there? What? Oh, I'm a dumb. I'm a big old dumb. For some reason, I thought those two lines were connected. Probably should be have wearing my glasses where I play this, because this is one of those things that like your eyes will fatigue super fast. Um, so many achievements in this game. I love it. Like this is like achievement hunting 101. <laughs> um, but yeah. So this is just one of this. Just again, I just wanted to put these out here so that you guys could experience it before you saw it or bought it. Um, this, uh, I don't want to say this is free play. This is 99 cents on Steam right now. 
yeah, it's it's a cheaper game. It's not super cheap, but it's also not super expensive. I mean, 99 cents for mazes, that's what you pay for a book of mazes, so... Actually, it's less than you pay for a book of mazes, so... In that sense, your value for idea ratio is much higher buying this than it would be buying the actual maze booklet, so... Recommend it for, if nothing else, than for the fact that it's an entertaining... Entertaining... Wow, I don't know what entertaining is. An entertaining way to, um... To kill some time. So, yeah. To go in the fucking hole. <laughs> and it's nice and relaxing, so if you just need like some zen in your life, it's a good way to find it. Alright, let's try the rectangular ones. Ooh, wow, okay. Jeez. Oh, uh, so this is just like your classic maze. Okay, this is. Click, 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 click. So powerful. So powerful! Hmm. This would be fun if there was like a Pac-Man mechanic to it, right? If there was something chasing you around this maze, so you had like a time constraint or like a, a snake or a spider or a jump scare of some sort. Maybe I'm just in the horror game mood today, so I have everything I'm thinking is in terms of horror games. <laughs> but yeah, so that is, let me get back out of there, that is essentially all of this game, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's really not much else to say about this, I just wanted to say thank you for sticking around. Remember, if you see a video on the channel that you like, share it around. Remember, put a comment down below of something you want to see me play in the near future, or now, or today, or whatever, because I check my comments pretty regularly. So, if you're like, hey, SciFox, this new game came out, oh my god, Kenyo, I need you to play this right now. Dude, 100%, be right there with you. So, thank you all very much for watching, and remember, through gaming, we can change the world. Slide Fox out.